Hey everyone, it's Desiree, and I'm here, hopefully, with a quick video for the junk journal side. I doubt it, but we can always hope. Um, and I'm just making some tags um, so that people can journal on them, but they've just got uh, a little twist, so to speak. So you can see I've got all these torn edges going on here. Um, I've got a little bit of collage, not too much. I did stitch around uh, the edge of it, and here I've got a zigzag stitch. So what I do is, or how I get these, the, the base for these um, are book pages. And I think I'm going to sneeze, so... <coughs> Excuse me. Yes, that was a sneeze. So... I have all of these book pages, oops, as I throw them on my table here, and what they are, they're half of a page. So you can see I rip them out and then I fold them over and I make sure that that tear line is, is showing. I don't want to cut that off. I kind of like it. And then I just made the tag form. And then I've got this template and you can see it's kind of half. So depending upon which way my tag will sit, it's going to sit on the side that covers up the words. So why would I cover up the words? Um, a little bit of an OCD thing with me, but these pages came from a book that I don't know. So what I started doing, um, so this is called The Vampire Stories, um, this was an extra book that I had, so I'm actually giving an altered book a try. Um, this did get videoed, wow, um, and with all of those pages, they're extras. So I do use them as bases, but what is very concerning for me um, and what I want to make sure that I avoid is I, I don't know all the words that are on here. So I don't know if there were some not so pleasant words um, going throughout the book. I just want to make sure that they are not visible. Okay, I don't know what this book is. So it's kind of why I know it's strange. I know. But it's my way to a collage, and I love to collage. Um, I'm able to cover up both sides when it comes to this. Um, and I can just make sure that everything is going the way that it that it should. It's, it's all covered up. So you can hardly see the words. So this is what we're going to make. And I'm going to show you how I make those. I'm just grabbing one more thing. So what I'm using now, you can use anything that you want. You can just use your coffee dyed or tea stained papers. You can make up your own collages. You can use your pattern papers, um, your digital downloads. And that's what I'm going to be using. So anything that you want to use, you can use tissue paper. Again, anything that you would want to use, you can use. So the collages that I'm actually going to work with, they are by Tracy um, from Love Junk Journals. And a while back, she created these beautiful uh, collage sets. So this is one that I've actually started to use. So you've got all of these great papers. You've got some stamps. You've got some cancellations going on there. On this one, you have some photos, a postage stamp, some... Um, botanical same thing with this you've got all of these layers that are already there and working uh, for you so these are great to use to get you started um, and to get things moving so these are going to be uh, my collage pieces and then I have some of her levels. I have some labels from Graphics Fairy. Um, and then I have some from My Porch Prints. So these here are by um, Tracy. 
um, this one and she's got this one with the numbers in it which are great and then these that are colorized in blue red or green in case I want to have a splash of color these are by my porch prints <clears throat> and these are the grunge number later uh, label so these are great as well different and then these here I got these from graphics fairy so all of this of course will be linked down below so I have these around me I've got my glues I've got my vintage photo I've got my um, reinforcements that are white and I just use my vintage photo or potting soil archival to give them this color and it's great because you can make them any color you want I've got my book my glue stick my art glitter glue if I need that and also my hole punch and by all means my scissors but I'm gonna grab also one of my metal rulers because that's kind of what I tear with um, as well okay so here's my base and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open it up and I just want to make get that to be a rough edge so I'm just gonna put my metal ruler down on that just a little bit push down and then I'm gonna tear up so this gives it just a rough edge um, and you can see that it's shorter on this side so I definitely want the tag this rough edge to sit on this side and then that means my template will flip this way so I'm gonna grab one of my collage excuse me my collage sheets and I think I'm gonna grab this one and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay my template on top of that am I in camera here probably not there we go and I'm gonna grab a pencil because I always have to have a pencil and I'm just gonna draw around that so I've got my line going around and I'm gonna grab that ruler again and I'm just going to tear along those lines. I'll move that aside. I'm going to come to the other side. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. I save all of these scraps as always. Now, when the pieces get small, like this corner here, I will put that under the roller push and then just pull up. And then this little bitty one, it's kind of funny, but I can still get that off. Now, that, of course, I don't save. <laughs> just say. Okay. Oh, and let's not forget about the white. So this now will sit right there so you can see it's covering those edges and it and it hangs down below here which i like <clears throat> i'm going to do the same thing for a piece of coffee dyed papers <clears throat> i am so sorry allergies they are the most awesome thing in the world So I'm going to do the same thing and I'm just going to bring this up just a little bit from the bottom. I'm keeping this on the torn edge over here. But I know that one side is already torn. Same thing. I'm going to put that little corner down below and if you hear that, that would be my husband enjoying TV all right and then I'm just gonna come in on this bottom just a little bit I just want to rough that up I'm gonna pull up and move that away so now I've got this piece here 
again covering the words and then when I flip this over I'm gonna have this piece over here and I'll still have this here open so I want to make sure that I ink around these again using the vintage photo I'm not going to worry about the tag itself yet to go around with the ink only because I'll do that once everything is together I just All right, so now I need to do this side because I did the wrong side. <laughs> Make sure you're inking the right side. There we go. So while I know, I'm going to flip that over, and I'm just going to put some glue down the center of this because I just want it to hold in place. I'm going to make sure it's lined up. And then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to do the same thing with this. Just down the center, I'm going to pick it up and then I'm going to put this down. Again, just making sure that the words are covered. That is my goal. Now, what I'm going to do is now's the time that I'm going to stitch around this. So, like I've always said before, my sewing machine just doesn't I can't get that to fit up here on my table and plus if I did it would you know shake all over the place so I will be right back and show you what this looks like when I have it sewn around the edges so I'll be right back okay so we are back so you can see I have my stitching zigzag going down here it doesn't have to be it could be straight you don't even have to stitch at all and then I've got my straight stitch going here I've got my tags coming here <clears throat> so now I'll come in with the vintage photo and I want to make sure I hit that edge and I want to make sure that I come in on the other edge as well just to show that definition and what I do is I can bend that down so that you can see those two lines and I'm going to come in around here and then I'll come in down on the edges again and now I'm also going to do this side as well now sometimes if I don't get that what I'll do is I'll come in with my art glitter glue and I will just put a bead going down that edge and now that's secured in there And then that's pretty much the base. Now what I'll do is I'll come in and I'll put my hole up at the top because tags always have to have a hole. And then I will put my reinforcements on there as well. And I do put them on the front and the back. And then you can collage any way you want. Now, again, I'm choosing just to let the papers do the work. Um, I say that a lot of times when it comes to pattern paper. Let your pattern paper do the work for you. Um, in this case, and I'm going to do that here too. I'm just noticing that because for some reason when I sewed, I didn't cross over the way I normally do. There we go. Um, you know, let your papers show you, you know, their pattern, and then that's really enough. Now, I do just like to put a label on these, and I think for this one, I'm going to use one of the, um, my porch prints, and I want that one just going to come up hopefully I'm not going to cut my finger
And of course we will ink around these. Get my glue. And I think I'm gonna put that one right there. I think I'm actually gonna cross over the top. And of course it's crooked. Thank goodness for glue stick. You still have time to move it. Yay! And that tag is set. So just a simple way to use up those book pages, <clears throat> especially after you're done, if you do the, um, wow, altered books, which is what I'm giving a try here, or, you know, to use up your glue pages, um, you can use them as a base, and it's just how I like to, to get them to change just a little bit. I will be showing two other projects when it comes to what else I do with these papers um, to create little tiny pockets and such, and those will be out soon. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it gave you some ideas to use what you already have in your stash, or maybe you were interested in some of the digital downloads that I am using for these projects today. This is a great way to build up your ephemera, which is what I like to do so that as I'm putting my journals together, I can just grab things and put them in there, especially when there's not a theme. Um, so again, hope you enjoyed that. Um, but if you have any questions, please make sure you leave those down below and I will make sure I get back to you as soon as I can. The digital downloads that I used and some of my products, I will link down below in case you're interested to check them out and see all of the other wonderful designs that they do create as well. I hope everyone is enjoying their day and by all means continue to stay safe and healthy. Remember, look down in the video description for all of the links. If you're on your computer, make sure you hit the show more underneath the video. And if you're on a mobile device, make sure you hit the arrow down. That'll be on the right hand side of your screen and you will be able to see those links. Again, everyone enjoy your day, but remember what's most important for me right now. Always be creative. Till next time.